Hello and welcome, this is Lino Tadros from Falafel Software and this video will be about using Test Complete to do a database checkpoint against an Excel spreadsheet. So first of all, let me open Excel and let you see one of my files and here it's called January class at XLS, it's from a previous class I've taught on Test Complete and I have a very simple sheet in here, I changed its name from sheet 1 as you can see at the bottom to my class and the first line or the first um, row in here contains the header names for all the columns like name, street, city and so on and then from that point on I can have thousands of different records I only have two records in here for testing as you can see in here sounds good all right let me go ahead and close this XLS file remember it's on my C drive it's called January class at XLS and I'd like to show you now how test complete can deal with that first of all we'll create a brand new project in test complete 8.7 and we'll say go ahead and you can do this in a keyword test or you can do it in a script file it doesn't really matter they are the same thing I'm going to create a database table checkpoint as if I'm going against Oracle or MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server and so on when I say next on the wizard I only have to pass the connection string in here if you know the connection string you can copy and paste it in here or you can actually get help from the Microsoft Windows control panel if you click on this this dialog comes directly from the control panel in Windows now it's not a test complete dialog it will show you all the different OLEDB providers installed on your machine all the native providers and also the jet engine provider if it's available a lot of people in the last few years have always gone against the jet engine 4.0 OLEDB provider to get to an Excel sheet or a Microsoft uh, MDB like an access database and so on let me go ahead and start with that even though I can tell you right now this is not going to work but it's important for you to know why I'm going to say next on the jet engine and in here we'll go ahead and find our XLS file notice by default it's going to be looking for a Microsoft access database I'm going to change this to start star dot star and there is my January class at XLS right there alrighty of course that's not enough if I test this connection that will be an error I have to tell it that uh, some extended property so we click on the all page right there and notice the second property called extended properties let me go ahead and edit this value usually we used to have to create here in double quotes and you have to enter the double quotes and you will say Excel equals 8.0 for instance and then semicolon and we'll say header equals yes okay if you would have done that that means we would like to use the Excel API of 8.0 it doesn't matter if you have Excel 10 11 or 12 installed on your machine that does not point to the version of Excel that points to the API that you want to use against that alrighty HDR equals to yes that's the header was whether you want the, the provider uh, to use the first line in your Excel spreadsheet as the header names if you did not put a header name and you started immediately with the data from the first row in the Excel you can say here header equals to no okay we're gonna say okay there and okay there as well this used to work in previous version of uh, test complete we'll say next in here and you'll get an error saying could not find installable ISAM if you go to Google or Bing or Yahoo and start to uh, search the internet about what does that mean it will point you to 200 different directions and you will see that a lot of people saying that you'll have to have the latest provider or it's a problem with 64 bit against 32 bit and all that stuff in reality all that stuff is not true the truth behind all that stuff is right there there is a patent um, issue uh, going on for a long time now and finally Microsoft lost the ruling uh, in the patent court and Microsoft had to pay 8.9 million dollars but if you read this article in here on CNET.com if you look for Excel uh, patent ruling you will get uh, to this right away from that point on the jet engine that comes from Microsoft does not have um, the ability to to do this to access the Excel spreadsheet so this is something that has been going on for the last few years since 2005 but the ruling finally uh, took place and the change has happened in the jet engine that you will not be able to get to an Excel spreadsheet so what do we do now well let's go ahead and open up this other page in here in my web browser I would recommend for you to go to the Microsoft.com website and download the ACE driver the ACE driver ACE um, the full name for it is the Microsoft Access Database Engine 2010 Redistributable they have a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version you can download the one that works best with your operating system whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit once you install that again it's a 25 or 28 megabyte it should take you a couple of minutes to finish all that 
it will install itself into your machine. Now let's go ahead and see how will that work. If I go back in here, I'm not going to use the Jet Engine. Folks with Test Complete or even other products that you're trying to do this with, Jet Engine will not work currently with this because of this issue with the Jet Engine and the pattern that had to be changed. We're going to go against the Microsoft Office 12.0 access database. Then that's the ACE driver we'll say next in here. Again, you can come in here and enter the data source, which will be C colon backslash, and I believe it's called January class dot XLS. Alrighty. And then we'll go to all and then go to the extended properties and do all these things like we've done before, like before. One of the things that I'm going to introduce you to that hopefully will be useful is that another website in here, that I use a lot, so instead of having to, to figure out these things on my own, there is a website called connectionstrings.com that will teach you about how to create a connection string correctly under any circumstances for SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, and so on. Even for Excel and uh, 2007, regular Excel and all that, if you click on Excel 2007 in here, it will show you using the ACE driver, not the Jet Engine, but the ACE driver, how to get to it. Copy and paste any of these lines for XLS or XLS files. I'm going to copy that into the clipboard. And I can go directly in here. Let's delete this. And I can paste it directly into this connection. We'll say Control V. And there is my entire line. As long as the provider is the ACE driver or ADB provider 12, I can go to my data source. I can maybe clean it up a little bit to make sure that this is pointing to the correct file. We'll say January class. Dot .xls. It will work also with xlsx file, which is a new format. And then finally, we'll have the extended properties. There is a space here between extended properties. It must be there. And it's pointing to Excel 12.0 XML. You can delete the word XML. It doesn't have to be, although it's a nice thing to actually use the XML provider for Excel 12. It's actually pretty fast. And we're also going to use the header equals yes. All right, we're not done. There's still more problems, but we'll fix them all. What happens now when I say next? Hey, it worked. Now I can see all the different sheets inside of that XLS file. If I bring this down, notice it was able to tell that I now I have a, a sheet called my class. It doesn't, it's not called sheet one. So it, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like we're almost there. This is going to work. So let's click on my class and click on next and poof you're going to get an error. And the error, this one is on test complete side, unfortunately. This is not on the, uh, on the ACE driver side. So I'm hoping in the future this will be fixed as well. We'll say OK there. Let me show you how we're going to fix that. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use the table or the view. You're going to have to work around that problem by clicking on Custom Query. We'll say Next. Notice if I even use the designer, I can see my sheets inside of the, uh, of the uh, Excel spreadsheet. If I drag the class in here, I will get the same exact error. What's the problem with that, folks? Because of that dollar sign at the end, uh, in the select statement, it will be complaining about that. So what I have to, uh, to do is to say select star from. And what the system is currently doing is doing my class dollar sign. That is not going to work, folks. You have to put this my class inside of brackets like that. Only then this will work. So that's what's missing from here. Hopefully in the future, test complete will be putting this bracket automatically using the designer or using the tables and views as well. Now when I say next, this will work. As you can see, I was able to get in all the fields automatically from the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to say next. I can see the two records coming to me from here. We'll say finish. Oops, I got an access violation um, in the VPL. That's okay. It's actually benign. It's because this, there's a problem with this uh, provider right now. But believe it or not, this will work. Alrighty, there is my table one in here with my data. And in my keyword test, I have my database table checkpoint. I can run this test right now. It will go get a fresh copy of the Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, the database table checkpoint have passed. I know it's a convoluted long way to tell you how this will work, but hopefully that works for you. And now you can get against uh, Excel spreadsheets with no problems. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.